How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Taz Astrical. This is Rimworlds and oh boy, is that a good thumbnail or what? <laughs> right, so we're picking up from last time. It's been a couple of days since I played this. I've been doing my other series, the Ice Sheet Challenge. So it's been a couple of days since I've visited this tribe. Now it does look like we've relatively got this under control. I am sort of debating in the future whether to have just a couple of turrets just to help us out in here. But I think realistically the best cause of action is probably to put more traps but i was extremely surprised to see them just come through the traps like in past versions of rimworld i've had traps up like that they've hit a couple and then they've sort of just come round. so i don't know if this is too much of a deterrent so we are going to have to keep an eye on that because as people are rightly saying like while the fire is extraordinarily good with people like this Obviously, when the mechs come, we're going to be in a much worse situation having to defend like this. So, but hey, I guess that's a problem for another time. And I really don't want to get drawn into doing another kill box like this or something. Because the amount of steel it goes through, like, we're struggling anyway. Like, we will have deep drilling up after this, which will be nice. But that's assuming we're going to get left alone to do it. Anyway, let's jump in. And let's just keep an eye on everything. We've got Chieftain. He's got a stun so we can keep an eye. And hopefully this goes alright. I am obviously going to hit the pause button quite a lot. Because melee people I see that aren't getting gunned down. We can take out. But saying that already they're fleeing. Uh, let's stun Yak. Because we don't want him to get into melee contact. Because what will happen is he'll run down here and get into melee with Maya. And we don't really need anyone like saying that he's running through the base. Which creates an awkward environment for everyone. Let's get Chief done. Actually Potter can go after him. I'm hoping he just runs out. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, now undraft everyone and they'll go straight away to power the fire. So maybe a little bit of food ruined. But in all honesty... Not the worst thing in the world. We have one colonist that we could potentially recruit. I'm trying to double click these. Two. So, have we got anyone good? Uh, sensitive, asexual. The creepy breathing doesn't do much for me. Not a terrible colonist. Dog, deaf and physically dull, tough and kind. A lot of bonuses. Problem is, can we actually turn this into a prison? And that counts, yeah? Nope. Um, have we got a free bed? We should do, shouldn't we? There, there we go. So let's put that as a medical bed. Maya, can you rescue? And then I'm hoping you'll just take Aisha up there. Let's turn that into a prison. And let's get ourselves a new colonist. We haven't done that in a while. Saying that, I don't know if Dog is actually going to survive this. Capture Dog. Death in five hours if it gets too low. Come on. Shoop. Four hours. I'm going to leave them because I don't want to capture it. And then it'd be like, oh, you, uh, but then everyone can like, get a negative mood modifier because like we killed a um, prisoner or whatnot. So let's just, you know, do our thing. Put out all that. And then obviously we'll fix this. Cr oh, there's another one there that I missed. Good spot and good spot. Trigger happy. Hard worker, I like that. Pessimist. Mm. Mm. Don't think I'm about that. Yeah, I think we saved. Health. Death in four hours is still there. Uh, I think we've probably left it too long now. What's your walk speed? Who's got good walk speed? Um, okay. Let's capture. I reckon we've got enough time. Right. Death in three hours. I think we've got enough time. Who is our best doctor? Tend. Yeah, we've got enough time. <laughs> and I was just going to let him die. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, there we go. So, the first thing we want to do... Our resistance is very, very high. It's been so long since I've done this, I can't actually remember the buttons I want. Oh, but it is in there. So we want 
want to do convert first. Yeah, it's been a while since we've had a new colonist. It's been a while. And obviously with um, Aisha being down, it just sort of creates problems. So yeah, it'd be great. Uh, why are you healing yourself with that? Absolutely not. Oh, you have got malaria. But your immunity is like nearly there. Oh, we do have the toxic buildup, so we do need to sort that out as well. T is going to be staying behind, so I suppose T can doctor and warden. Obviously, you're not going to be able to do it to any great deal of success, but that's fine. A heat wave for blah, blah, blah. We get a knee spike and some goodwill. Nah, I'm not about that. Is there anything else we need to do? Because we do need to go. No, we need to repair this before we go. So let's just repair it how we had it before, because while not perfect, it actually did do the job. Worried that people are going to step on these traps, so let's put not allow. Trying to click on that bow. Okay, cool. Okay, and then we can turn that on and start burning that. We can turn that on and start... No. Because they ain't got much armor and stuff. Okay, okay, okay. I really want to move sooner rather than later, to be honest. Everyone's being kept indoors. Let's change this zone a little bit to cover all this, just so we can repair that. Because so I think we'll repair that and possibly go. As much as I do want to just sit on research for a bit, the quicker we can sort out this toxic fallout, the better. Because like we said, all the wildlife is going to die, which is going to create a little bit of an issue, but... Uh, constructor, I am hero. So, dog. Dog. So look, you do, you're really good at mining, which is obviously brilliant. I love that you can do crafting. You're tough, so you can be potentially a melee person, which is great. Kind, which is okay. Physically dull is fine. Right, it's an okay colonist, you know. Nothing too fancy dancy, nothing too rubbish. Which, thinking about it, doesn't really sell it as a great colonist, but. No, there we go. All this is getting sorted. We don't really need to worry too much about it being clean, but I don't know if the cleanliness will affect this room. We have got the harvest, so we might have to make sure everyone's at home just to haul it. Problem is, is we need to be really quick about sorting out this um, toxic um, spewer. Luckily, it's obviously not too far away, but we need to be quick because otherwise we'll get a new attack. It is obviously really good that it's not actually that far away. Well, it's only zero, but so it's not even a day, which is obviously really, really good. Um, so yeah, I really do love that. But we need to do it sooner rather than later, because obviously I don't know what it... I, I know it's not like that, but now we've just been attacked. Logically, you'd want to leave now, assuming... You know, Glossandra, leave you alone for a little bit. Obviously, I don't imagine that's how this difficulty works, but... Makes me feel better inside my head, I suppose. Volcanic winter. Bit awkward. I mean, at this point, it's toxic fallout snow. Is that even... Would that even be, like, possible? I'm not really sure. Dog is getting fed pelican. Yeah, whatever. Health-wise. I'm surprised it didn't get an infection or whatnot, but it's not too bad. We do need to get purple because we do need to start trying to convert. Where is T? Where is T? We need to really get on board with trying to convert her because I know you guys have been laughing how useless I've been with it. The quicker we can pull her to our side, the better. And I think weapon wise, I'm probably happy with everyone going with an LMG, one incendiary launcher, chieftain. Potter with a sword. Like, I think I'm happy with everyone going like that. 
Unless there's another assault rifle like that's been hiding away. Could take the Doomsday rocket launcher, but I don't. I think I'd probably be overkill in all honesty. Like I'm hoping we'd be able to get through that without that, but I hope that's not me being too complacent or anything like that. Like I don't know, a wing and a prayer, something like that. Problem is, we will have to keep someone at home with tea, actually, thinking about it. So we might keep... I'd like Maya to come with us. Might keep Purple back, then? I'm just thinking, in case the prisoner breaks out, tea is not going to be able to do anything. And if we get attacked, we won't have any way to, like... So Purple will have to stay back and everyone else will go. Probably um, purple. What's your? Okay, so T's still gonna have to warden and whatnot. Swap that over to purple. Which means stuff is still getting done, cooking still getting done, which is obviously a really big. Would have loved all that to get hauled, but right. Let's allow these traps. These traps are gonna get built. Let's make sure the harvest gets hauled in, and then we go. I think we all agree that would be the best move to do. Because we need to, we need the toxic fallout to go, really, so then we can start, obviously, with the deep drilling again. Certainty. Whose certainty went down there? Is that dogs? Well, certainty is very, very low. Hopefully we can get you to our way of thinking sooner rather than later. You'll love it with us. You'll love it. We look after our colonists. And to be fair, apart from Crow, don't hold open, don't hold open. Apart from Crow, we have been looking after everyone, to be fair. Let's turn off these turrets. Save a bit of a liquid. Okay, battery's going fine, so the power situation is really, really good, meaning we don't obviously have to make so much chem fuel. Hoping that Eye is not going to walk over that trap accidentally and attack himself but hey ho we'll see could make that a little bit thinner so at least when they come through they're really pushing for a bottleneck which gives us obviously more chance to attack them we could also make it wood lobster eight without a table didn't realize your mood was that low observe rotting corpse okay okay so who is our there we go because lobster should be hauling really uh, Maya is the next past person, I suppose. Andrew in a really, really good mood. Cannot cremate corpse. Why? Human-like. I mean, is it out of... Da, da, da. I reckon it's out of the radius. If I hover over here... Come on, show me. Show me the radius. Which is just outside the radius. So let's make sure... If we push that to, like... 70. Then they should be in there. That was my bad for not sorting that sooner. And then Maya will go and burn all them bodies. We could strip them, but they're only tribal stuff. I don't think it's going to be too much of a bother. Alpaca's given birth. Lovely. How are we doing for that alpaca wall? Okay, we're actually making quite a bit. Lobster couldn't reach Ayamira. Yeah, whatever. So I might cancel all of this. Apart from the hood and the slice cap, because we always need one. And I think we start making stuff out of um, alpaca wool. I think that would be really, really cool. The question is, is can we make dusters? And that we're all in like... We're all in like armour and stuff. Really, anyway. Can I, like, and I assume like we can't do that with any of the armour. Yeah, no. Okay. Right, most of this is getting worked on, which is obviously really good. Everything's been hauled in here. A lot of fungus. I mean, most of this stays at maximum capacity anyway, I suppose because it's kept inside. 
the only problem we have is obviously it's not refrigerated, which isn't the end of the world. But I still would like to get the whole harvest in and then we'll go. Don't really want to risk it for a biscuit if we don't have to. And a few traps have got to go, unless we leave Iamiro behind. 14 shooting, we could use... How much is purples? 15. I think Maya might stay at home. So let's get Maya come equipped, that LMG. Okay. I would like... Where are you taking that? Okay. So Potter will have a sword. Chieftain is 12. I'm just looking at shooting, like, the worst shooter we're going to take with us. I'm wondering whether to not even bother with the Insinuary Launcher. Yeah, I think we won't bother as much as I want to. No, I think we do need to get, grab it. I do like Chieftain having the Assault Rifle. He is trigger happy. Shoots faster and is less accurate. Problem is, need a melee person just to have a shield belt. Did that do us much good last time? I mean, it takes a bit of the fire away. Maya's going to stay at home. Purple's 15, 14, 15. Sand, can we just take it with... Oh, God. So Chieftain's going to have to take it, which I really don't like. The idea is, is that we're looking to like burn stuff as we go, hoping there's some sort of bottleneck. And then Purple comes, gets the assault rifle. There we go. All that's done. That's being built. Maya's staying at home. So then at least she can fight. We need all these traps to be up, really. It's just fine, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Can we do a ritual to convert? 1.3 days, okay. I think all the dead bodies have been burnt, apart from that one. Can we get two constructors on this, because this has taken a while. Let's pump T up to one. Just so then we can get them traps sorted quick, lickety quick, and then we can um, go and do some fun stuff. This is like doing your homework before you can go out and play with your friends, do you know what I mean? How's Dog getting on? Okay, you might actually get converted to like this episode, which would be banging. Obviously, we've still got to um, recruit him to our way of thinking. T is staying here, so I think in the morning we're going to get up and go. T is, has the capacity. She's staying home anyway because she's incapable of violence. We could take her just to obviously soak up bullets. But I don't particularly think that's super, super wise. And then... Do I trust her to stay at home on her own? Not really. Not with, nah, not with Dog. Because all it takes is for one jailbreak and then we're done. We would have to somehow make sure we lure Dog outside to the turrets. And there's too many things that could go wrong, so... Maya definitely needs to stay. While well, she hasn't got great shooting, at least she's another pair of hands. Just in case, obviously, it goes rather negative. See, we're sort of thinking about stuff, party people. But yeah, in the mornings, everyone's going to have their breakfast, and then we're going to go. I think that's going to be the best way to do stuff. Uh, we do have a night owl. I didn't realise... No, who was the... Yeah, Maya's a night owl. Is it because she's inside? Like, she doesn't... She gets a mood boost if awake at night. 11 till 6. I'm sure I had it like that before. Maybe I, like, reset it by accident. Come on, pipe people, this was a test all along and no one saw it. Like, come on, guys, you've let me down. There we go. Should we just make sure no one else is a night owl? Because I had a sneaky suspicion. We had a couple now, I've seen that, but maybe we didn't. It could have been Crow that died, to be fair. 
Okay, all of them are up. Okay, we're back. I'll let two. Oh no, two staying anyway. Okay, party people, let's go to the world. Form caravan and go there. Except this will take half a day. Don't know why it's going to take less all of a sudden. So chieftain, purple, lobster, Iamiro, and Potter are all going. Are we taking some alpacas? We can then carry some more stuff. So shall we take two? Like, because that's the mass we can take. So we could take like one, two, three. Problem is we can't control them when they're there. Well, this would be a test anyway. Even if this goes badly, this would be a test. But the idea is, no. No, I think because we're defending ourselves, if we're purposely going somewhere to raid, I think we take them. If we're not, I don't think we take them. I just think too much could go wrong. Right, travel supplies. Okay, all the bedrolls are going. That's good. Items. So can I take a gun with me? Let's just take an LMG with me. I want to see how that pans out. Yeah, be a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Right, then they're all going to go. Lovely. So they're going to go in the morning. So I'm hoping... See, look, all the elephants outside are starting to... Um, die because of the toxic fallout. Why are these guys just forming caravan? Should have made a caravan spot, really. But look, they're already getting toxic build up 6.5%. So it goes up quite high. Yep, okay. Good luck, boys and girls. And then obviously our two people at home. Well, we got three, but obviously Aisha's down for the cow. Maya and T. T's building the traps. Imagine if T went down and hit a trap. That'd be devastating. Luckily, we're right near a road, so they can take the road, and that's why it's, most of their day isn't taking, you know, isn't taking too long. Uh, berries. I was just checking. Okay. My pack of two is pregnant, and then we're nearly approaching. I'm hoping they get there. They should get there before bedtime, which would be really, really good interesting to see if we the person that like the people that we attack i wonder if they take shifts or if they just like i'm hoping we get there before the night send that oh i thought that was going to be um right, let's pause let's read this quest quickly i want you to stash a special prisoner we could get a colonist a body modder, which would be perfect with us. Steadfast, so it doesn't break down as easy. Yeah, I think we're going to do this for this person. And a researcher, which would help just having someone. Um, I want you to stash a special prisoner. The prisoner is 28-year-old. Teacher knows embarrassing information. Okay. Sick with blood rot. We could do that. And we'll do it for Whistler. Yep. Pods arrived, jump to location. Okay, so then we need to get Maya to capture. We will give you good medicine because we're going to try and keep you alive. Wish us luck. Wish us luck with bad, you know, doctors. Let's see, need a good tent. 87% tent, you dirty dog. Just seeing the blood rot percentage. Okay, so the caravans arrived, so we need to pay attention to these. So let's zoom in and do all this. So we're down there. Where are they all? Do you reckon they're in there? I reckon that's where the toxic spewer is in there. It said it was guarded by 15 people. Assuming they're all in there, I think we're going to go around here. And use this for our defence, maybe that. A bit curious, there isn't that many people there. Right, I'd imagine if this was a um, setup. 
Okay. So this could work to our favour. Anyway, let's keep going. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I can't see anything else. Like, I'm not being totally blind, am I? So are they all sleeping in there? There's a little cave bit there. So let's get closer to this bit. Is this sandstone it's made out of? Oh, I was hoping to... I thought it was wood, so I was just going to burn it. Okay, they're coming round down here. So they weren't in there, sadly. But we're going to start burning the forest. Basically, the plan is to burn their path. And Potter will just be there, just in case they want to obviously shoot at us. Um, everyone else can actually start shooting at the walls. Because if we can get this toxic spewer dealt with, it will help more than not. So they're coming to attack. Yeah, they're coming to attack. That's fine. Chieftain, basically, I want to just set up a wall of fire. It's going to be a little bit more awkward because it's raining. But here they come. Oh my god, there's loads of them. That's fine. I have utter confidence. A lot of this is going to be on the incendiary launcher. Stump. The incendiary launcher is going to control where they stand. Potter is going to be able to take a lot of... Um, bullets. I'd like them to go after Potter but that incendiary launcher is gonna pull us out of trouble funny enough. There go, nice, set up someone on fire because it's just creating that extra little wall Potter's just there, just trying to create a little bit more problems Stun that person. So that person is. So we've got a couple of problems. Um, let's attack him. Chieftain should have used his combat command, but I totally forgot. Okay, everyone needs to attack him, and Chieftain, you need to do combat command. That was actually a good shot by Chieftain, but let's put. I am Eero in a bad situation. We're actually doing okay. Surprisingly. Problem is, I don't want I am Eero to accidentally get shot. But I thought we were controlling them quite well. Saying that, there's only one that's actually gone down so far. I am Eero, if you can try and get out of combat. Okay, that's that dealt with. I'll need you to get back behind cover. Would be great if we could get somewhat lucky. Don't know where he's going. Yeah, it'd be, if we get a little bit lucky, that would be great. Potter's gone down, which is, is what it is. That's a really good shot there just to create damage. What is Potter's health? Death in six hours, so it's not the end of the world. Obviously not really, really great. You guys are going to need to just start backing off, really. Let's stun you. Actually, don't back off. Shoot. My mirror come here. There we go. Another one dealt with. Um, obviously, we've got a lot of ranged units, which is a bit of a pain. I don't know if the Insignore Launcher can do too much else to help us. And they flee, and so actually, obviously extremely lucky, let's be honest. So the first things we need to do... Did Iomira go down, did he? Okay. So obviously the first things we need to do is save our two colonists, but... Not terrible, not terrible by any stretch of the imagination. Right, sorry, I'm just panicking a little bit. Chieftain's our best doctor. 
purple rescue lobster rescue we could lose someone here who's just been shot I thought someone was still being shot at but I don't think so chieftain I need to put all this in a home zone so then it, the f they start to obviously put out the fire right you need to tend to potter which one's going to die first potter six hours they can't really tell the others will put the fire out on our stuff Just keeping an eye on obviously health and whatnot, which isn't too bad. Yeah, really good. It just helped that fire, just being able to block them off. And I think that was a good use of the incendiary launcher. Not obviously not the best. Don't get me wrong, but let's get this to speed free so we can get these lovely people healed. When you all get to like death in four hours. All right, now swap over and tend. Potter got ri oh god, look little toe. Big toe, second toe, ring finger. Oh my god, what trouble do I get this colonist in? If you got to this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. And I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye.